Today is a very sad day for me. As many of you are well aware, I've spent my entire professional career at BC. I love the company and everything it stands for. I thought long and hard over the last month or so about what is the right course of action to take. It is clear that this tragedy will leave BP a changed company and that to move forward, particularly in the United States, it should do so under new leadership. Hey, word is out. Dudley is in. Bloomberg spoke with BP's chairman, Carl Henrik Svanberg, earlier today. And we started by asking him what Tony Hayward's next move will be. Is he going to your Russian venture, your joint venture? What, what we are intending to do is, is to propose him as a, a board member in the Russian TNK uh, venture. But that, this is something that we will discuss. It's with an him. interesting move, I mean, considering the issues historically uh, that BP has had at TNK BP with, with the Russian shareholders. No, and, and, and every, every individual that goes on that board needs to be agreed upon, so that it's, it's mutually uh, appreciated. But BP would like him to go to that board. Yeah, and, and, and remember that, that he is an incredibly experienced and, 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 and uh, capable uh, leader that has uh, all this history in the, in, the, uh, in the oil industry. So he would add tremendous value. Do you have the Russians signed off on it? This is something we need to discuss with them. You took a $32 billion provision. It's a big hit. Is that how much this bill is going to cost? Well, first of all, it's our best estimate of the cost that we know today. Uh, nobody will know precisely. Nobody will know exactly which sure. fisherman will come in with a claim. Will that be a legitimate claim? Uh, th there will always be an uncertainty and, 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 uh, around this, but it's, it's the best estimate we can do for today. I guess one of the big unknowns is whether you'll be found grossly negligent, yeah. right? If yeah. you are found grossly negligent, negligent, then you get fined at more than four thousand dollars a barrel. Yeah, if you're not, point. it's it's over a thousand. It has a, it has an impact because it will. Uh, if we were found gross negligent, it would be higher fines and and, and and But we are the belief that we're not. We will not found be be, be found gross negligent, and, and and we will not be the sole responsible part. But but why why not? Your own partners say you're grossly negligent. Well, we can't comment on their comments. We can only uh, comment on our own conclusion. And, and, and your feeling that you're not grossly negligent is because why? Because of what we already know from, from, uh, from the public hearings and the Marine Board and what we learn. I, I would encourage everyone to go and look at the Marine Board investigations because they publish witnesses and they publish statements. And, and if you go in there, you will, I, I think you would rather soon come to the same conclusion as the Board has. Tony Hayward has talked about returning the Gulf of Mexico to the state it was before the spill. Yeah. How long might that take? Well, it, it's, uh, if you think about it, we're not spilling any more oil now. And, and, and there will be a, a time now for cleaning up, for cleaning up the waters and for, 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 for cleaning up the beaches. Then comes the, 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 all the claims which Ken Feinberg, the judicator, is leading. And that could take many years, actually, to, to, to go through all the claims and make sure that we, that we can compensate those that are affected and have legitimate, legitimate claims. All right, well, that was the chairman of BP, Carl Henrik Svanberg, speaking with us earlier on Bloomberg Television.